Hey guys, it's Browwolf again, this time with a bit of explaining. The story is drawing closer to the Noble War and the intense battles it will bring. But before that, Xavier had plenty of smaller scale fights which yielded loot and experience, but no real challenge. That's why this episode will have a lot of partially shown or auto-resolved fights and a lot of talking about level ups and gear. But worry not, we'll finish strong with a really good battle. However, before that, we would like to take a moment to thank our new patrons who are supporting our attempts to create more videos per week. If maybe you could help out too, check out our revamped Patreon page with several new rewards. And now, Battle Brothers. Oh great, they gave us the high ground so we can even see what's going on here. There's the fallen hero, he's got the reinforced bag helmet. Like a decayed plates of sorts and some kind of flail, that's disappointing. Look at this, the necromancer has a moustache. You guys see that? It's a, <laughs> a little bit off-center it looks like. In any event, the smart play here is move up and take this line because they'll all charge us and they will smash their heads against our spears for a thousand years. One, two, three, four promotions. We used 100% of our throwing weapons. Uh, however, we did manage to get the decayed coat of plates, 260 negative 42. We also got the covered decayed closed flat top with mail, 230 with 19. Not bad. Uh, we're gonna have to do four promotions and then go into an even bigger battle, although this one doesn't have anything we need to farm. So first and foremost, stone. The new, beautiful, beautiful max roll melee defense tank with max roll fatigue. I still want to get melee defense every single time. Two less hit points isn't too bad. Let's get one tick of resolve this one time. We're going to go for rotation. We have Thomas over here. Whoo, steel brow. So every single time uh, we want to go melee. I want to go hit points and I want to go fatigue. Cinnamon hit level 8, which means we now unlock Duelist. Now, the cool thing about Duelist, if you're unaware, 25% additional armor piercing, and javelins have 45. So that's a total of 70% armor piercing on javelins, but only when we drop the shield. I think we're pretty much done on the initiative at 137, so the rest of it just goes into hit points. And Monk. Actually, now, Monk is different, because throwing axes only have 25% ignore meaning we're not going to go duelist on him. Instead, we're actually going to go bags and belts for more utility on the finisher that is Monk. And we're going to give him, of course, as many axes as we have. We also got max roll range skill. He finally max rolled resolve. Fantastic. And at this point, do I want more hit points or do I want max roll fatigue? I think I'll go fatigue at this point. And that's it. Now, this attack will go on for a little while. But we want to attack them during the day, and I don't want to wait all night. So I'll camp for like maybe an hour or two. And I want to make sure my range characters are still going to get their range bonus for being in the daytime. So boom, a few guys, a necromancer, the bajillion, billion, killian, Vida gang. The plan is we just let them come up and stab, 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 stab. Oh, the dummy ghosts went to the dumbest imaginable place they could have gone. Ooh, whips! 
Oh, the ghosts, the ghosts are tickling at us. What? They never do that. Oh, good. There. Now they're screaming like they should. Whew. All right. For me, that was 43 consecutive minutes of slaughtering Zambi. Almost nothing for that, which is horrific. However, that should be it, I hope, for the reward. Uh, there better not be another one. That would be beyond ridiculous. <gasps> there it is. You gotta be kidding me. There's a third group, and it's the same. Oh, oh, why did I do this for 2,300 gold? It wasn't worth it. We don't even have any more arrows. Okay, let's go back. Gotta be quick because the. Oh, oh, they just destroyed it. No. What? Uh, do we fail the mission? I think we do. I've never seen three. I've only ever seen two. Yeah, they have some arrows, but I'm pretty sure. Flesh and bones scattered across the field, hardly discernible from one owner to the next. Yep. Um, well, okay. Hopefully, let's maybe we get the money. I don't know. Kotrendorf has been raided. You gained 1160. Most of them are happy, but a few are not. Can you guess which of those aren't? <laughs> I'm sure you understand then why you'll be receiving less pay. 45 minutes for a thousand gold. My god, they have been raided. They have marauding greenskins, their terrified villages, and their trade routes have been ambushed. Wow. I kind of need the arrows too. I'm going to have to overpay 230 for them. It's just, I need them. What is this quest? Whatever it is, I'm almost certainly not going to do it. 3,000 to defend for raiding? Yeah, no thank you. Six more hours of fighting Zambi. To know what holes we go. Unholds disappearing. Villagers. Ooh, Ingmar. All right, higher it up. I do want uh, some more potential tanks. Let's see who Ingmar is. I'm surprised I've come to this town 3,000 times, and only now have I seen a wild one. Ingmar got... Let's see. Ingmar got very close to a max roll of 70 on the hit points. That's good. He got almost a complete average roll on fatigue, but he got one skill on it. By the time he's done, he'll have 151 fatigue, though. Uh, and by the time he's done on hit points with Colossus, he will have 122 hit points with 151 fatigue. That's very nice. And his melee defense will end up being something around 19. Honestly, it's, it's not bad. He's not the best character. Uh, but we don't have to put any extra points into Resolve. We don't have to put any extra points into anything else. So he'll work. Uh, we'll keep him here for now. Not bad. I'm not sure when we'll get a chance to level him up and name him. But until we do, we'll just sit there. So I really wanted to buy arrows. I wanted to buy wood. What kind of missions do they have that we have to clear to get rid of this nonsense? Doesn't look like we even can. Unholds. They want to pay us... 1300 to fight unholds. That'll at least get rid of the unhold attacks. Oh, enormous spiders are afoot. And that's not even that bad. Oh, okay. We can definitely do both of these, I think. We're going to need arrows before we go, though, so we'll buy the ones for 111 right now. We may need even more than that. We'll see in a second. And then there's also a noble quest green skins. Yeah. Yeah, so we came out. And we still don't have enough arrows. We're going to have to buy whatever they have right now. Another 139. Good. And now we're completely stocked on arrows. But we don't have much longer and we have to pay the men. So let's sell a little bit. Let's give Mr. Honk that level. Uh, of Nimble, of course. Let's also go for Resolve. Unfortunate Mineral. Melee skill Max Roll. Beautiful. And... It's a difficult one. I kind of want to go to 100 hit points, so every time I get a max roll hit points, we'll take it. Getting us up to 92. 100 hit points is absurd, but that's zero deaths. So looking at the squad here, the roster, at some point, either Charlie or Chris are going to have to get disbanded so they stop costing us money, but I do want to pay them their well-earned compensation. I think it's going to be Charlie. He has a lower overall range skill. Both of them are insane. Also, Chris is like never going to die. <laughs> it's just never going to die. All right, Clay at this point also is probably probably good. 
see his way out. And Ingmar will rename a little bit later when we get an opportunity. We have inventory to spare. All right, so I suppose first things first. We, the unholds, probably I'd rather be healed for. Uh, so why don't we go to the spiders, even though it's higher tier, I think it's actually going to be the easier thing. And into the forest we go, hoping to actually engage them not in the forest. Oh, what is this? Entering Nord's holds, it isn't long until Ligma is bothering the locals. He's slapping buckets out of their hands and kicking Waman into the mud. I know if you say no, you lose like 59,000 reputation with that faction. Or rather, if we search their homes for valuables. So let's say, let's tell him he has to stop. He's not going to like it, but whatever. Hey, while we're over here, maybe we can take out this... Oh, there we go. 23, and they're coming right where I want them to go. Let's see if I can't engage... Oh, God, no, they're moving. Nope. Yeah, I don't want to engage 23 spiders in the forest, so maybe we can just bait them out into the lowlands. We may have to fight them at night, which would be less than ideal. Yeah, we can do it right now. Uh, unfortunately, it's nighttime, but if I don't do it, we might be chasing them for a hundred years. Now's our opportunity. Whew, all right. So finally, they didn't web every single turn, and now I can attack. Uh, basically, I felt like I had to release the hounds early on because we were getting super overwhelmed since we didn't have the daytime advantage of using all of our javelins and axes. Uh, and I think that was correct because they both died. And we're still in jeopardy here. In any event, we're still not out of the thicket yet. Kiyosuke's been up here. He's down to 36 hit points. And he's poisoned for three more turns. He's been up here fighting this one... Spider for a hundred years. <laughs> like, literally. Ah, they're retreating! Huzzah! Boy. 23 spiders is a lot more difficult than 17. Uh, especially when we fight them at night. I think I was a little overconfident. Especially down here, we have one, two, three, four, five. That's the danger. We've got to rotate here. I saved this rotate just for that. Perfect. Stones comes into the rescue. Kiyosuke has only just now hit his very first attack against that web next. Ooh, never fighting spiders again uh, at nighttime when there's that many of them. No wonder why the quest was for like 1,200. Well, they no longer have disappearing villagers, and we got a stack of food, so huzzah. Oh, the unhold quest tootled. That's unfortunate. Meaning we can't get the super cheap wood that I wanted to get. Alas, uh, let's grab the remaining arrows. And as much as I can deal with that other quest here uh, to fight the orcs, we need to go repair and sell, and we have no inventory, and we have level ups. So, Oleg, welcome to level four. Rotation for you. Beautiful. Uh, meanwhile, I picked up level 8. Ooh. Gotta remember to drop the shields. But we're looking pretty good all in all. I think I'll take one more to think of initiative, then we're done. All right. Uh, let's repair up and head to the south for selling. And we're in. I think it's really time to just sell. All the value. Okay, 9,500 gold. Holy mother of heavens. Let's go quickly grab these two quests. One's just go find something. Once we see it, we maybe can decide if we want to do it. Plus, I want to come look for our camps anyway. Oh, there we go. That was quick. It is a necromancer, many Vita Ganga, a fallen hero, and a few guys. So that is going to be a decent amount of loot uh, and also not too difficult of a quest. Let's come down here first. The camp bar. Oh, undead are over there too. Let's go see who they were. I think there was only about 10 of them. Yeah, 16 actually. Ah, eh, just Vita Ganga. They don't matter so much. And eight brigands. Boy, been a while since I've seen those guys. 
We're looking for hedge knights. That's what I'm really hoping to find here. That and tools since we're down to 20. And we don't have any hedge knights. There is a sword master. He's a little expensive at 5,000. I might buy swords masters if I see cheap ones, but I'm not too concerned with it right now for what we have. Let's stock up. We can get six tools. One, two, three, four, five. Also, we can buy about four arrows. One, two, three. We can buy some food as well. We'll grab some fish. It's only six days all these things combined. Ooh, another leather neck guard. That's always worth picking up. Let's go equip that on... I, I would say probably Cinnamon deserves it. None of my characters can equip and hold the decayed coat of plates. Not not one. We need the wild men. Yeah, there's just no one to wear the decayed coat, unfortunately. So there's not a huge reason to farm more zombie camps, except that they pay well. It may be time now to retire Clay. He has done us a very good service for a very long time. Thank you very much, Clay. You, sir, will pay you 410. Retire into the evening. Good day, sir. Charlie, I believe, also one of the best ranged skilled non-skilled hunters there ever were but we'll pay him the 460 as well fantastic we done retired two men zero deaths we're gonna be known as the company who never dies uh, chris is up next we'll toss him here over in the corner for now he's still a fairly decent backup if we need a backup and let's compress the ranks a little bit this is my original lineup that i wanted so right in the front here i want a two-handed hedge knight we haven't found a hedge knight yet to buy and then i wanted four tanks uh, and in between them, I wanted, so one, two, three, four tanks eventually. And then I wanted the cleaver guys here and here uh, so they can use whips, uh, cleave, get rotated in, decapitate, decapitate if they need to, that sort of thing. And the back line, I wanted to have exactly this setup with bannermen in the middle, ranged openers in the middle, and ranged finishers on the outside. You know what? Ingmar. Ingmar is the only one who can equip this and hold it. As much as I hate to do it, we may have to sit out someone who's been here for a long time. Even with Battle Forged, unfortunately. I think it's going to have to be Ben. He makes the most sense. So let's have Ben take a bit of a nap here. Let's get Ingmar in his position. God, Ingmar is looking good. I'll have to learn the ways, but he's pretty well strong for now. Let's get him back on the inside, so at least Stone is stronger on the outside. Awesome. Anywho, uh, let's go clear out this camp, I reckon. It's good loot. You know what? Since we have Ingmar here who needs promotions, and since we know there's stuff out here, crash it. Why not? Hey, guys. Wow, so little experience. It's not even worth it for Ingmar. 55. Okay, loot, though. Decided not to farm that fallen hero, since we basically can't even wear the gear we have. Sell, 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 sell. All right, one more arrow, one more fish, and at this point, we are super good to go. Let's go back to Nordholes. It's just a delivery quest. See how they're doing. Maybe we can get that wood. Maybe they still have that noble quest. Maybe we can go fight some orcs in their camp. 13 webnecks is irrelevant. Wait. Someone stole our package? Follow the thieves' tracks and return your cargo. What the? Who the heck stole our package as we got there? Peasant after peasant telling the same story. War is on their lips. The noble houses are squabbling over something. All right, the noble war begins, boys, on day 68. And we need to go to the Rotten Lodge to get our frigging loot back. A few marksmen, many raiders. Okay, this will be something a little bit different. Now, I think as far as these are concerned, it doesn't matter what tile you attack from. It's what tile they're in. And as we can see here, swamp. Kiyosuke, Eold, Loveyo, beautiful. Ooh, Amber, okay. Well, they do still actually have the noble quest to kill the orcs. I'm not sure if it's really technically worth doing. 
Obtain coat of Sir Iverston at the Shattered Stronghold. 1,410 crowns. Now, the great thing about these quests is you just have to walk in. You can just run away. So that's basically guaranteed that we can do it. Zoom, zoom. Just a quick, 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 quick yoink. I won't, probably won't even fight it. Especially if we get there at nighttime, which we did. Many ancient legionaries and a few auxiliaries. I mean, I could probably do it, but we have all spears. We have all javelins. And there's not really a huge value to doing it. Uh, so let's just leave. I had forgotten to do Kiyosuke's promotion, so let's do that now. After Battle Forged, we typically go Rekava. Beautiful. Uh, now, let's give him some more promotions. He finally got that max roll resolve. We've been waiting a hundred million years for, but now he's up to 50. Beautiful. Let's go to Nordhold's, turn this in, and then I think we've got to go to the north. There's two reasons. We need to prepare for the Noble War. Uh, in the north, there is heavy javelins and heavy throwing axes. So I really want to go fight some barbarians at this point to farm up some of those for the men. Additionally, there's more wild men. Uh, which we want for replacing one more tank in the roster. And lastly, there is a couple of forts up there we may get lucky and find a hedge knight. So it only makes sense to go to the north. This is what we're talking about. 77 arrows, yes! It's been so long since we've seen this wood that's really cheap. Let's buy literally every single one of them. We'll buy the food while we're here as well. You know what? Why don't we buy the mushrooms? They last for nine days. Yeah, actually, you know what? Get some more at the next town. To the north, boys! King of the north! Wow. These guys have ambushed a trade routes and a rebuilding effort. That's crazy. Meaning, that's the ultimate selling price for wood. I think the problem is the green skins might lower it. Nope, they don't. We bought it for 173. We could sell it for 322. Absolutely incredible. That was just easy money. Brigands have made a pass on his daughter. Now, the thing about these brigands, 1,500 is very likely going to have a leader. Do we want to farm a brigand leader at this point? It certainly could be good. I think the answer is yes. Let's do that while we're on our way out there. We need to drive off brigands at the overgrown foundations east of Kochendorf. Unfortunately, that is apparently 10 billion miles away. So we'll go up there and see what we find. It's actually so far away, and this is very good, I may actually just abandon it and move on. Because I'm not too concerned with Kochendorf regardless. Let's hit up Friedwald while we're here and see what's going on. They have pretty much nothing of interest. They do have some cheap wood. Okay, we'll yoink it. Hey, they have some cheap food. Sure. Looks like there's some kind of beast nearby. Okay. So looking at this, it's some brigand marksman. And it's many raiders. What that means is they're probably going to have more range than we do. So they're going to sit back and camp. And they're going to camp in a forest. This sounds like the biggest waste of time I could ever imagine. And I'm honestly just not even interested. I'm probably just going to abandon it and move on. Yeah. Delete. I was hoping for a brigand leader. Alas, no leader. Don't care. Dunkatol, what's up here? They have disappearing villagers. A Fletcher with nothing. And a very overpriced everything over here. Let's see what their quests are, if they really matter. Hunt down what terrorizes Dunkatal. Well, near the forest, it's probably going to be spiders in the forest. I think I'm done with that. Destroy Skull Smasher's Grotto. And so this is it. Skull Smasher's Grotto. So that's not that interesting either. Let's go find some northern raiders, because that's what we're up here for. And if we're lucky, uh, Hedge Knight. Ambushed caravans in a big city. That's always good. And they want us to go back to Nordholes, which is like not at all where we're going. Okay, let's move on up to Granite Shans. Mmm, farmers, servants, and nothing of value. They do have a cheap great sword, as far as great swords go. And some relatively expensive salts. We'll buy. Oh. I just bought the wrong thing. I meant to buy tools. I have no idea what I spent on that. It's actually completely worthless because I'm overcapped. I'll buy the grains, and this was a bust. Well, uh, let's come down here and see if we can't find something interesting in the northern lands by hitting this mountain and taking a look. Oh, six barbarians, some reavers, and a warhound. That's what I'm looking for. Where'd you come from, buddy? Up there someplace? Okay. We'll be sure to go follow your tracks. Yeah, come over here. 
Come here. It's time. It's time. Come on. Ingmar got one promotion. Ooh. So we did get a bundle of heavy javelins. That's nice. All right. That's one down. Good, good, good. So since we're fighting the northern men, and since I keep seeming to forget, I'm going to actually drop my shield off unless I need it. I'll give myself those heavy javelins <laughs> to start. The deal here is instead of doing 30 to 45, they do 40 to 55, which is absolutely amazing. They do take an additional two fatigue to equip, and they have another negative 5% to hit, but our aim should be so high that that should be counteracted no problem. So let's give Ingmar, first of all, nine lives. Fantastic. And then also make sure he's the most defensive character in the history of all defensive characters. Now, let's keep going. Let's uh, look around out here and look for more wild men camps. Or uh, barbarian camps, rather. Oh, a couple of random spears. Okay. Seven undead. Many ancient legionaries. Looks like they got in a fight with some barbarians that came from over here. 14 orcs, a plethora of orc young. It's not really something I'm interested in killing. It doesn't give us what we want, which is ranged weapons or hedge knights. So up here is where we had seen the original band of six reavers. Oh, hello, the icy cave. Yeah, I don't think I want to be going there right now. Ah, here we go. Many thralls. Eh, that's kind of silly, but I mean, hey, why not? It could be a fun time. Well, just a casual goose level. What? We got all of that for that stupid little camp? 500 gold silver bowl and a 250 amber? Okay, plus a bunch of other garbage. So goose is now level 8, and we'll also go recover. Beautiful. Let's give goose some more defense. Wow, finally a resolve on goose. That's been a long time coming. And we're off. Ah, mercenaries, eh? Gonna be work for you in the coming days with the noble war afoot. We are not at all prepared for the noble war. Not even close. There we go. What do we got? Nothing. I mean, we could do it for no reason, but I guess the reason would be experience. Stone needs like 200. Uh, Angmar needs like 200, especially to get... This is the safest way, actually, to get him something, as much as I hate doing zombies. I suppose, just a real quick zombie smash smash. Thomas, share my cow. Very good. Ooh, really? Really? That took like five minutes. And we got the maximum. This is a thousand gold uh, shoulder plate. These are incredible. Plus 40 durability. For only four fatigue. The gems are the most expensive thing. 1120. That's insane. Another 500 for the silver bowl. Six gold, because you know, six. And a one handed famed cleaver, the unsung hero's slicer. Now, I want to point out that the, I do want two characters going cleaver spec, and I have tried to go cleaver spec in all of my streams like basically since the the first campaign i was done i was like oh let's try cleavers that sounds fun and they're really cool uh, and i've never actually gotten them to work and at long last all i had to do was go kill six of zombies in like the middle of the forest to pick this up so what this cleaver does compared to a military cleaver that's the exact same damage uh, but it has eight percent more armor ignore and it has weapon skills build up three less fatigue. And if we're attacking twice per turn, that is six fatigue per turn. That's like iron lungs and a half. Now, if we consider this for a second, uh, and we also consider that Eric has iron lungs, that's basically like 25 fatigue per turn between iron lungs uh, and this cleaver. So let's definitely give it to him. Foom! Look at that, fancy, fancy. And he's got 74 fatigue. For now though, we gotta level up Thomas also into cleaver spec. So he's gonna go melee skill, uh, fatigue. And I did say I wanna go pretty much exclusively hit points, but when I have three melee defense and two hit points, I'm gonna go melee defense. Colossus, gotta survive, gotta survive. 88 hit points, fantastic. 
uh, down here on Share My Cow, he has now picked up Nimble. Let's also give him four more aim. Finally, get him up to the max roll resolve and also more hit points. That's a beautiful hit point roll. Also, I'm seeing a bit of an opportunity here. Let's grab Cinnamon's shield and drop that until I actually need it. I can't believe we got that much loot out of it. That was insane. That's literally insane. That is literally, that's like the best loot I've ever gotten for my camp, and that's like the easiest camp I've ever done. <laughs> Anyways, on we go. Let's go to Asenberg in a second. I want to go hit this mountain while it's still midday. Then we'll go down to Asenberg and look for maybe a hedge knight. It might be too late to start training them at this point. Ten ghosts. Just came out of a place with six ghosts. <laughs> you guys think there's more famed weapons there? Ooh, this is what I'm looking for. Many ancient honor guards. Okay. I wonder what they would have. Oh, you don't see much else. Let's go murder these some guys, because I'm just really curious what this camp has after killing that easy camp over here. Plus those guys that just came out uh, came out of here and reduced the value of this one. All right, still haven't got a promotion. Otherwise, nothing to speak of. Oh, what? The last thing had like a famed item, 7 million gold, the shoulder plates. This one has a ring and 15 gold. Hedge Knight. They do have a 1,600 gold wild, man. That's a ridiculous amount of money. All just for a risk of a tank that may or may not actually be better than we have this late in the game. What do they have here for other items? Nothing. And they do actually have leather shoulder guards. Those are nice. Grab those and throw them on someplace. I think next up will probably be... Uh, Shitter my cut? No, I think in order we should go for Monk next. Boom. Let's give Stone his level 5 promotion, which is Taunt. Hmm, very unfortunate. Two, two, two. Triple minerals. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to risk money on that wild man. Mostly because we need to start buying good armor. I think the idea is we'll do some easy noble quests for a faction in the south that we actually like. Let's go to Himmelswalk, see if we can find a Hedge Knight there. On the way over, we'll check for more Barbarian camps. But I've basically checked, like, the majority... I haven't checked over there, but I've checked the majority of the northern map looking for raiders. And we haven't found basically anything. One camp of Thralls was it. Yep, nothing here. Well, it's midday. Let's actually go past them and up into the mountains. Take a peek. Nothing. Wow, crazy. They have a rebuilding effort, but otherwise, nothing. They have a rebuilding effort. We could sell our wood, but it's actually honestly better to sell it to a big town without a rebuilding effort than to sell it up here. Always need more ammo, though. Here's the cheaper hounds, the war hounds. We can replace the ones we lost from before. It's actually a good thing we bought those, because I may have lost the game if I didn't have them. So, Monk, Cinnamon, and myself. I feel like we're going to buy three of them. I'm going to go for the tankier... Northern Hounds, they're not really tank eater, but if they get hit in the head, they're still basically one shot. So if they get in the armor, they can take like three shots from some, like, brigands. Let's come over here and one more desperate attempt to try to find a barbarian base for heavy javelins and heavy throwing axes. Going literally to the top of the mountain. Ah! Some Reavers! Okay, well, it's at least something. Ingmar promotion, beautiful. So we picked up more stuff, more stuff, 70 gold, two stacks of food, some sellies, and some paint. Not really the javelins I was looking for. On the plus note though, Ingmar now has at least steel brow, which is very good. And max roll, max roll, average roll. Not bad for a tank, but doom. Well, we tried our best, we found nothing. One more to like kind of look over in this direction. And then we're heading south again. We found a sarcophagus made of ice. Hmm. Keep your wits about you, men. Yeah, literally nothing. Well, to Yedeberg we go. We tried. Wish I could do one more jaunt over here to the Bronze Hill. I'm going to. Ah, would you look at that. A few chosen. Oh my god. Uh, a few dr Oh my god. Lots of reavers. 
Well, I have considered this barbarian camp long and hard. If they didn't have warhounds, we could potentially run away if they low rolled. Like a lot could be 10 or it could be 12. A few could be two or it could be three. We could get royally screwed over and there's no way to find out without engaging and the warhounds could pin us down so we can't retreat. And honestly, we're not that strong. We could kill probably a lot of them. But we could actually almost certainly clear the camp, but someone would die. And of course, zero deaths, so. Anywho's, Norspiria, let's go. Oh, hey, I didn't see that there. A plethora of reavers and a few drummers. Wow, a plethora. So that's like, I can do 15 reavers and this is, this is perfect. That's exactly what we need. Uh, this will give us hopefully javelins and throwing axes, but without having to deal with the RNG of the, of the chosen. And also if something goes bad, we can run away because no warhounds. Literally perfect. The bronze hills, boys. Oh my God. That's, they're not kidding about a plethora, huh? So our plan here is, look at this terrain. It's a little bit awkward. I know some of them are gonna come up here and some of them are gonna come up here. Ideally, I think we should just wait to see what they do. Good, always good to start with 272 misses. No sense of being in this tile, because it's just closer to their javelins, which they can throw up here. Okay, not the best setup in the world, but it's functional for now. Some of them are going to come down here for sure. We have javelin, javelin, throwing axe, throwing axe. And they charged up with the throwing axe rather than use it. I will take that every day of the week. Gonna apply wounds to as many of them as possible. So we can do that. I imagine we're gonna have to go very aggressive down here. So I'm gonna make that a reality with both of our cleaver spec characters. And over here, we'll try to hold the line. Right in the noggin. Good job, Shannon my cow. a good place to spear wall that tile this tile they'd have to come up uh here to get to kiyosuke and then they couldn't do anything then we could probably knock them down and go back to the spear wall interestingly we could spear wall with goose after we knock this one off the cliff hmm, okay let's give it a whirl 66 or we could try to stab them that's not gonna work off the cliff <laughs> and then hold the line absolutely beautiful now, these ones down here are gonna go dop, dop if I spear wall here, but that's actually probably a good thing. So let's kind of bait them right into our legendary cleaver. Have Ingmar hold that line as well. Very tactical, this battle, except eh. Tactics mean nothing when you can't hit. So Mr. Hawk went right in the front for maximum coverage of morale bonus. This is what I expected. I expected them to largely sit around. 59, 69. God, I love javelins. 61 for a death. 57. Not sure. We'll wait for the second one. Oh, there we go. That's the, the perfect second one. 20% extra damage for being closer. Better aim. Okay. Cinnamon, if you'd be so kind. Did he just get... What just happened? Well, that was someone down the hill, I see. One we knocked off before. Nice. Goose 16. This is what we're talking about. Monk. Elevation. Wound. 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 And wound. Monk has so much damage, it's insane. 86%. Boom. Oh, he's out of ammo, though. I want these guys to come over. I'm just gonna wait. Let's see if we can't pick up a kill with Mr. Honk. Nope. 75. Swing and a miss. Sure, my cow has two 80s over there, and I really like that. Oh, God, he's so wrecked. Yosuke can move back, and we can hold every line here with the speeder wall. Hopefully. Well, it might fail in the first attempt, but we can try to do it. 
stone can keep doing this, baiting them over here. I hope we hit when they do get over there. Uh, we can do the same thing over here with Goose again, or we could go for a 63. We actually can't do the same thing because we're out of fatigue. So I think maybe recover since that one's pretty well broken. Having him be there is good for us. Oh no, Ingmar can't. Speeder wall. That's no good. Okay, well that means they can charge right to this tile then. Got to wound him. Every one of them now has got a wound. Oh, they did come up. This is getting crazy. I, I want to move over here uh, and then be right in the middle and just wait for next turn with the cleavers. Oh, stone doesn't have the fatigue. So that actually is going to end up being very bad for us. Okay, they're going to be able to do something here. Mostly just run in circles. Beautiful. 45 miss on Eric. Cinnamon needs to wound this one. Oh, yes. Thank you, Cinnamon. I got noggin bunked. Well, that ain't no good. I do have the sword, though. I could pull it out and be like, sup, sword time. I'll do that last if nothing else works for finishing them off. But given how wounded they are, I think we have chances there. This has to be taken out. 88 monk, plus 40% damage, also wounded, so plus 20 from Executioner. And we miss an 88. Oh, okay. That actually didn't do very much. Now, can Eric handle this? 62. We'll wait for another 5% over here. Mr. Honk. There we go. Unfortunately, share my account. Just got pinned. Let's see what we can do about that in a second. Thomas. Nice. Rip the armor off. I'm feeling like what Goose should do is actually double rotate over here. Or possibly just run over here. <gasps> run over here and rotate for share my cow. That's what we're talking about. We no longer need to be over there. Kiyosuke's facing an unknown amount of enemies, so shield wall's the only thing that makes sense right now. It does seem like Oleg could come over here and handle this. Beautiful. They're starting to break and waver. And we're doing very nice up on this hill. Well, if Stone's going to get hit, he's going to get hit. Let's move him in. Yeah, of course, they go right there for Cinnamon. No surprise. And I never ended up doing anything. So I'll grab the sword and be like, sup? Okay. No, I won't. Now, Eric. I don't know how many hit points he has, but off with his... Come on, <laughs> double 72 miss. Good thing I got the famed cleaver, boys. Good thing. Sure, my cow. Right here. Yeah, free me up, please. Nice, share my cow. Whew. Good work. Okay, so we're going to take some wallopings. One, two, three, four, five, six. But, and then they're going to charge up, and we'll see what's going on. I actually think it might make sense to keep me safe here so I can go back to my javelins. So we'll move Ingmar up there. Ingmar doing, doing work with the defense. Good work, Kiyosuke. AoE's gonna miss. Beautiful. So there's two of them on Cinnamon. Interesting. Oh, wait. Let's see what we can do about that. Nice! Cinnamon, 60% evasive maneuvers. Okay, let's have Monk rip the armor off. 86. And follow up with Mr. Honk. Woo! All right, Eric. Off with his head. Finally. Let's start aggressing with that. Finally, we got some blood on that famed cleaver. Let's have Thomas go up and do the exact same thing. Off with his head! Damn it, 53. Well, sure my cow can take 164. Good work. Right, well, they can hit Cinnamon for a good amount, but Nimble's going to really lower the amount, but then they can rotate, 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 rotate. Plus, we can throw if we rotate in with Goose. Goose is just all over the battlefield. Really good work of Goose. Well, Kiyosuke will have to shield wall again because all men are of enemies. Let's see if Oleg can have fun times with sticks. Oh, yep. That's a nice stick. 
I think Ingmar just needs to sit there and hopefully recover a little bit. Such that he can shield wall next turn. And I'm going to go for the heavy javelin. Negative 35 fatigue. Damage. I went for the javelin for the damage. Lo and behold, we have negative damage. So 57 over here, but 84 there. Even with negative 35 damage, it's enough. That's what happens when you're a boss, boys. You do boss work. In case you were wondering what the boss does in the office. Now that Cinnamon's back here, we can be like, hey, you wanted to kill Cinnamon, did you? Oh, double 83 misses. Game! I'm actually getting pretty low. I've been hit by like three throwing axes and javelins all over the place. It's crazy. Ooh, that's a big hit on Kiyosuke. And there goes a shield. And there's some attacks since we no longer have the shield on stone. Okay, they are definitely coming for me. And we're a little bit busy here. So if I don't move, there's a chance I could die. I need to figure out exactly. Kiyosuke, there's a chance he could die too. Stone or Ingmar really can't hold that. We need to have someone come back. I don't know. I'll just wait and see what happens here. The rest of the squad. Mr. Honk could fill in by charging over there like a maniac with full nimble. That'll hold him at bay for a while. Monk has just got to do some wrecking, but not before Cinnamon applies wounds. Let's see if Eric can actually do the thing he was meant to do, but not yet. We'll try to decapitate a little bit later. So, soften 65, Cinnamon. Cinnamon! There we go. Finally. I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to throw and then have Shermichael follow up with the wounds. So, Thomas should. He's low enough. Yeah, he'll bleed to death for sure. Kiyosuke's got to recover. I have no idea what to do with Ingmar. we got to save Kiyosuke somehow. That's the problem. Bruce can't rotate again, and no one's over there to rotate. Well, Kiyosuke, well, we at least have nine lives. Let's recover on Goose and assume Goose can run back next turn and save us. Meanwhile, let's have Stone pick up some armor. Or not. Just miss everything. Good. Now I need the wound here. 86. Beautiful. Now that we've done that... We have the wound over here, thanks to Cinnamon. 71 with Monk. Absolutely nothing here, Eric. 54 doesn't make sense. Jeez. Good thing we got that legendary cleaver. 92 Sheremai Cow. This could save everything. To miss a 92. This is just like when I used to stream. I would scream on the stream. Because this would happen every time, and it was kind of mean. Okay, good luck, Kiyosuke. Oh my god. I, nine lives did proc on Kiyosuke, so he's one attack away from death. He's also fleeing. Ooh. 44? Okay. Well, it was unlikely that they were both going to hit, but yeah, Kiyosuke, six hit points. Six. And there's barbarians everywhere. Is this one bleeding? No, but he's near death. All right, boys. I need to eviscerate them, and every single shot has to hit. 86. Beautiful. Again. 88. Okay. Good. That's a wound. Mr. Honk, we need you. 66. Do not fail us. We need you. Yes! Now Kiyosuke is no longer in jeopardy of immediate death. Or at least when he runs. Simon seems to have found a barbarian Riva in her face. Kiyosuke will die with a single hit anywhere. That guy did die as expected. Monk has two ammo. We can either go here to help finish off this one. Or we can be smart about it, try to wound that one, or we can try to take that one down to 76. That makes so much more sense for me with Kiyosuke. Oh, thank God, Monk. 76. Yeah, oh, not enough, but good. You guys think Eric could ever hit one of these guys, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. 58. There we go. 
There we go. Nice. That's some super bleeding, too. Now, I wanted Goose to come back. Uh, two, one, two. And then Ingmar would have to, like, run this overwatch or something so we could get over here and then rotate Kiyosuke. For now, though, we wait. Actually, hold on. Goose, if he rotated here, it would actually get Kiyosuke killed. Well, boys, off with his head, please. Don't just, you know, don't do that. So if we knock and bunk, Cinnamon can actually throw, and so can we. Of course, we can always miss the 74. That's another plan. Okay, Oleg, we really need you here. 62. Really need you. Yes, yeah, someone hit that guy. Stone's been failing to kill this one for a long time. He has no shield. I want to charge in, but I really can't. So this is just what we do. Oh, God. Kiyosuke ran down there next to that one. Cinnamon doesn't have a weapon. Can't run the overwatch. I guess we have to release the hound. Not sure what good that's going to do besides probably immediately die. We could actually run over there with Goose to break him. But to do it, we'd have to run through this Reaver, who's still alive, but he's breaking. So right here. Yes! But we didn't break him. We just got there. Oh, he's fleeing! When did that happen? Is that why Kiyosuke went that way, or did it just happen now? I don't remember when. I didn't see that. I thought he was just breaking. So that actually makes sense. The problem is, this Reaver has elevation. Oh, boy. Okay, Kiyosuke. Kite shield of... Here it comes. Kite shield. Evasive. Maneuvers! Yes! He's not going for the kill for some reason. I don't even know why. I guess it's because he's fleeing, so he's like, oh, I have better things to do, like kill the guys who's killing all my friends. That makes sense. Ooh, what a crazy frigging round this is. 88. 95. 22. Oh, that's because we're down there, okay. 90. This 88, though, would be really helpful. Okay, again. Awesome. These two are now wavering. Eric, you've been here for a good good amount of time. Let's see it. His aim is just so bad, it's ridiculous. We need to make sure this one's not going to move. So as asinine as this is, after we stab with a 69, we got to charge up next to him. No hit points while bleeding. It's fine. 77 acts in a turn. Oh, come on. This guy has dodged so many shots. Simmons only got 54 hit points. Huh. Let's try to bonk him out again. Good. Now that he's gone, Cinnamon can move someplace. So maybe Thomas moves in. Awesome. Ingmar. Finish him. Come over here. Finish that one when he flees. Beautiful. Oleg Stabby. What a bloody bloodbath. My god. Yep. He tried to run. Kiyosuki's good. He's on the... <laughs> I can't believe it. Nine lives, boys. That's the second death prevented this campaign from nine lives. This one was brutal. Cinema needs to not be any place dangerous. It's just... There. It's good. Okay. Please, Strider, don't get your nuggin bunked. Wow, nice. We saved Strider with Thomas. However, Thomas isn't doing so hot. That's okay. 41 hit points is plenty because we can rotate. Oh, God. That one's even stronger. There we go. Good job, Eric. I've got basically nothing at this point uh, except a hound. I can't even go into melee. It's going to drop them all everywhere. Nice. Good work. Good work, Strider number two. Brown Strider and white Strider, apparently. Nice, Mr. Honk. Saving yourself. Freaking ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Okay, Monk. Nice. 86. And he's bleeding. We have more hounds. All the hounds. Everard, get him. Maybe next turn. We'll go first. This is a fun battle. This is what this game is all about. Goose charge! Nice. Now he's scared. Thomas is over here, though. I'm not sure I should have gone there. 
Trainer my cow. There's what we were looking for. 92. Beautiful. Oh, I should have taunted. Damn it. That would have made more sense. And Kiyosuke's even coming back. I should have taunted there, but worst case, we pop our nine lives on Thomas. He does have it. Nice. Oleg like taking the hits. Ooh, okay. Getting a little ridiculous. We just can't finish the last two guys off. Just can't do it. Okay. Oh no! Little Amarog! No, Amarog! Our best pop from the very beginning. He had to go after the. Why didn't he go here like a smart so? Doesn't make any sense. Alright, these guys are dying right now. Good job, Cinnamon. Okay, let's see if we can save him. Actually, can we just end the battle, please? I don't even wanna, I don't wanna watch Amarog die. He doesn't deserve it. Dude, look at the hit points right now. No armor, almost nothing. Barely any armor, almost nothing. Kiyosuke, six hit points, nine lives procced. Oleg, eight hit points. Mr. Honk, half hit points. This is crazy. Yes, yes, Amarog survives. <laughs> All right. Now, the whole reason I did this frigging 35-minute battle was specifically to get throwing axes and javelins. Please, for the love of heavenly hash browns, give throwing axes and javelins to us. Oh, literally, literally, not one throwing axe or a javelin, but 500 gold, a 500 gold bowl, furs worth 300, like one, two, three stacks of food, three quarters of a stack of meds, over two stacks of tools, nearly a full stack of ammo, 11 good weapons worth 800 we can all repair and sell, and barbarian plate covered hide. That's actually really good. Wow. Oh, that is the ultimate nimble thing. Unfortunately, I didn't have any space, so. So what'll happen here is uh, one, two, three, four things will disappear and we'll get number one, two, three, four inventory at the end. Meaning our barbarian cleavers should number five and axes should be three. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, that, that did indeed work. We got one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three over here. Fan frigging tastic. We have so, I can't believe how bloody we are, but we have so much loot. Also, Eric is now level eight. So at this rank, I usually want to go frenzy. Let's go for it, boom. And let's give him aim. We'll give him fatigue and we'll give him hit points. I did see the three max roll melee defense, but I really like the hit points. Well, uh, I think also Eric should probably take this barbarian plate covered hide. It's the perfect nimble thing. In fact, it's even more than perfect because it gives us two fatigue to play with. And rather than being 85 or 95 as a base, it's 156. And it just looks like a barbarian thing. God, Eric's a boss. Uh, now, because we have negative 5 and negative 8, we can apply something for negative 2, which we have as double mail. And still will maintain our entire nimble. Awesome. Looks a little bit weird on that, but still. We now have 176 and 105. Well, we came here for javelins and axes, and we got no javelins and axes, but we got some other random things, so there you go. Now we've really got to go back. Indeed, but we'll be back south in the next episode. In this one, we earned massive 15,500 crowns and gained 12 levels total, as well as a new recruit. But we also sent Charlie and Clay to retirement. Thank you guys, you did good. And despite Kiyosuke having 44% chance to die, he's still with us, meaning the number of deaths in the company is still zero. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.